Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a movie review this week. It's called Fanboys. It's a comedy about fanboys and fangirls who love Star Wars, and they wanted to go all the way to go see the very first screening of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. So they wouldn't want to wait six months for it. The movie stars are Sam Huntington, Chris Marquette, Dan Fugel, Jay Baruchel, Kristen Bell, Seth Rogen, Danny McBride, Ephraim Suplee, William Shatner, Carrie Fisher, and Billy D. Williams. And it's directed by Cal Newman. As the film opens, it said on Halloween in 1998, and the countdown of the upcoming Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace was about to make its debut later in May of 1999. A group of Star Wars fans, Eric, Linus, Hutch, Windows, and Zoe, decided that waiting this long to go see the screening of Episode One would take way too long for them to wait. Unfortunately, the problem was that one of their friends, Linus, has got terminal cancer. So they wanted him to, to go see the first showing for himself before goodness knows what will happen to him. On the way, they started to go to a cross-country trip from, from Idaho to California, where Skywalker Ranch is located. And so they hop into a, a band that was decorated like the Star Wars poster the original poster from 1977 and it had and along the way they met a lot of people going from state to state from, from Iowa to Texas all the way to Las Vegas they would meet all these trekkers one of them is played by Seth Rogen and they basically were having a big battle between the two because of the <laughs> Because he actually called Han Solo a bitch. I gave it away. I know. But that's okay. And then, once they were at Texas, they met Harry Knowles, who was, of course, a famous uh, film critic uh, from AinitCoolNews.com. Decided they want them to, to reveal the spoilers of the Star Wars uh, movies. Because they were going to go see it <laughs> themselves. And then, of course, they went to Las Vegas, but once again, they were spotted, and they actually met another uh, character, once again playing by Seth Rogen, and of course William Shatner, until they went all the way to the Skywalker Ranch, and they finally went to sneak in to see if if they finally got the screening of the film. Well, they finally got their wish at the end after a big battle between all the security guards, mostly dressed as the characters from THX 1138. Unfortunately, they had to pick Linus to watch the actual screening of the film. And once he finally saw it, they finally revealed it until the actual premiere came out. You know, everybody was getting ready for it and until they spot their last line. What if it sucks? Well, for the film itself, I really did enjoy it for what it was worth. It kind of reminds me a little bit like the Troy Rock City a little bit there because of the the whole idea of of all their friends going to a cross-country road in order for them to go see a kids concert but in a way this is sort of different from from that movie because it's also PG-13 while I did have a lot of the drug references and sexual content and all this humor it was pretty tame for a PG-13 film and plus you get a lot of cameos in this film such as Billy D. Williams as Judd Reinhall yeah, Go figure. Danny Trejo is also in this as well, as well as Carrie Fisher as the nurse, and of course I just mentioned William Shatner. There's Kevin Smith in this movie too as well. Oh man, and they got a lot of great casts too. Danny, also Danny McBride, Craig Robinson. Uh, I mean, boy, this movie had a big cast. But of course, this was also considered to be one of the rarest comedies. That has been done so many times with reshoots and re-edited and, and added some different scenes and all that. Because originally this film was supposed to come out in 2007. But it's been 
rescheduled many times until they finally got its release in 2009 which unfortunately was released at the same time as Coraline and and Push it didn't do very well at the box office as far as I'm concerned but it really did kind of made it up for for the fact that it was it was a fun film um, I, I thought it was hilarious I actually laughed like hell when I saw this and and it was you know it was very unique so I was I mean I read a lot of things about behind this movie and I guess it's interesting that it, they took a lot of time to do so um, but anyway it's I, I say it's definitely worth watching for those who actually love Star Wars I know I love Star Wars and, and yes I have seen I remember seeing episode one the Phantom Menace and yes I know most of the fans hated the film I sort of liked it for what it was worth I didn't like Jar Jar Binks because he's annoying but you get the idea but anyway, I get fanboys free stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.